सिक्स एसेस बचेल भक्तियों ठाकुर ऑन द सिक्स वर्चुअस ऑफ अ प्रैक्टिशनर ऑफ भक्ति उपदेश अमृत वर्स थ्री वन उत्साह इंथुजियाजम द थर्ड वर्स ऑफ श्री उपदेश अमृत डिस्क्राइब्स सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स उत्साह निश्चय धैर्य तत्त कर्म प्रवर्तना संग त्याग सतो वृत्ति सदबीर भक्ति प्रसिद्ध थी प्रोग्रेस इन भक्ति में भी ऑप्टेन बाय द फॉलोइंग वन इंथुजियाजम टू फ्रॉम फेथ थ्री फोर्टिट्यूड और पेशेंस फोर परफॉर्मिंग द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ भक्ति फिफ्थ गिविंग अप अनफेवरेबल एसोसिएशन एंड सिक्स अडॉप्टिंग द बिहेवियर एंड करेक्टर ऑफ प्योर डिवोटिस इट इज असेंशियल टू डेलिब्रेट ऑन ईच ऑफ दिस सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स इंडिविजुअली देर फोर वी शैल फर्स्ट डिस्कस उत्साह इंथुजियाजम वट इज उत्साह The activities of bhajan become weak in the absence of enthusiasm. This weakness arises from inertness, laziness and indifference. Inactivity and laziness, which are known as jade, means inertia, are eradicated upon the appearance of utsah. The word jadata means inertness pertains to the state that is the opposite of spiritual nature. How then is it possible to perform bhajan if inertness is given a place in the body or heart in the absence of effort apathy arises the practice of bhakti yoga should be performed with a consciousness that is free of indifference bhagavad gita 6.23 instructs tam vidyad dukh samyoga vyogam yoga samjanitam sa nischen yuktam vyo योग अनिर्विन्न चेतसा नो दैट स्टेट ऑफ समाधि टू बी डिवाइड ऑफ एनी कॉन्टैक्ट विद द ड्यूलिटी ऑफ मंडेन हैप्पीनेस एंड मिजरी दिस योगा शुड बी परफॉर्म विद फर्म डिटर्मिनेशन एंड अनडिवेटिंग कॉन्शियसनेस इन इज कमेंट्री ऑन दिस वर्ड्स श्री बलदेव विद्याभूषण महाशय हैज सेड आत्मनि योगत्व मननम निर्वेद सम तद रहितम चेतसा If a person considered himself unqualified to perform an activity then he becomes disinterested in that activity remaining completely free from this kind of disinterest one should practice bhakti yoga with enthusiasm regarding bhakti yoga shrimad bhagavatam 11.20.7 and 8 has mentioned nirvind naam gyan yogo nyasi naam iha karmasu ते सब अनिर्विन्न चेतनाम कर्म योगस्तु कामिनाम यदि छया मत कथा दो जात शदस्तु या पुमान न निर्विन्न नाति सक्तो भक्ति योग अस्य सिद्धिदा ओ दव दोस हु हैव बिकम डिटैच फ्रॉम कर्म एंड इट्स फ्रूट्स एंड हु हैव कंप्लीटली रिनाउंस बोथ आर एलिजिबल टू परफॉर्म ज्ञान योग इनवर्सली पर्संस आर एलिजिबल फॉर कर्म योग as long as their heart has not yet developed renunciation toward karma and its fruits and as long as they are desirous of the fruit of action but do not lament it those who are neither too detached nor too attached and who by the fortune of having performed auspicious acts in previous lives have developed faith in narrations of my past times are qualified to perform bhakti yoga through which they can attain perfection different types of spiritual practices gyan yoga karma yoga and bhakti yoga there are three types of spiritual practitioners in accordance with different state of consciousness one those who possess a consciousness of indifference nirvinna two those who consciousness is devoid of detachment anirvinna and three those whose consciousness is free from attachments nirveda Yoga is of three types: one, Gyan Yoga; two, Karma Yoga; and three, Bhakti Yoga. Gyan Yoga is beneficial for persons whose consciousness is filled with indifference, Nirvana. That is, those who are unattached to karma and its results. Person whose consciousness is devoid of detachment, Anirvana. That is, those who possess many desires. 
are eligible to perform karma yoga. Those who are not yet detached are nirvinna and also those whose consciousness is free from attachment nirveda become eligible for bhakti yoga when on the strength of their good fortune faith arises in their hearts for hearing narrations of shri krishna's past times the purport is this but for dry renunciation what else can reside in the heart of those who have become free from the desire to perform material activities but have been unable to gain any experience of transcendental activities which are beyond materiality the topmost attainment of such persons is knowledge of non-dual brahm for those who are neither detached from material activities nor relies in transcendental activities which are beyond materiality there is no other way than to perform karma yoga which purifies the consciousness those who have understood the utter insignificance of material activities having attained realization of spiritual activities are indifferent to all kinds of material activities still they accept performing a limited amount of prescribed action meant only to aid in their spiritual awakening but they remain unattached to those activities in bhakti one becomes free from attachment to material sense objects to the extent that one deliberates on and discusses spiritual subject matters freedom from attachment to material sense objects is but a by product of bhakti the symptoms of bhakti yogis are mentioned in shrimad bhagavatam 11.20.27 and 28 as follows jat shadho mat katha su nirvinna sarv karma su ved dukha atma kaman parityagyo api anishwara tato bhajate maam pritah श्रद्धालु दृढ़ निश्चय दुश्मन तन कामान दुखोद कर काम गरहयान अ साधक हु हैज डेवलप फेथ इन नरेशन अबाउट मी एंड हु इज डिस्कस्टेड विद ऑल काइंड ऑफ फ्रूटिव एक्टिविटी मे स्टिल बी अनेबल टू गिव अप मटेरियल इंजॉयमेंट एंड द डिजायर फॉर सच इंजॉयमेंट नोइंग दैट सच सो कॉल्ड प्लेजर्स आर एक्चुअली सोर्सेस ऑफ मिजरी ही शुड कंडेम हिमसेल्फ while attempting to enjoy them thereafter in due course of time he may be able to worship me with love faith and fixed determination kama desire gives rise to karma nirved this regard of material objects gives rise to gyana and shraddha faith in bhagwan gives rise to bhakti the conduct of a bhakti yogi A person in whom faith has arisen is naturally disinterested in the performance of all material activity. He performs prescribed duties, karma, to the extent that they are favorable for his faith in Bhagwan. One cannot perform bhakti sadhan without the body. How can the body be maintained if one renounces ambition and activities that cause sorrow but are necessary for maintaining one's life? How is it possible to perform sadhan if the body is destroyed therefore people in general should consider such acts which yield misery to be meager and contemptible and tolerate their results without attachment while performing such fruitive acts for the sake of maintaining their life they ought to continue to worship me with fixed faith by bhakti yoga those who enjoy the fruits of their material activities worldly sense pleasures with great honor are called karma asakta attached to fruitive action those who nurture a mood of contempt for the fruits of material activities and engage in such activities with a sense of honor for the propensity to render devotional service to the lord are called unattached anasakta although detached from worldly activities they perform the activities of bhakti with great enthusiasm the sequence of progression for bhakti sadhakas the sequence of progression for the practitioner of bhagavad bhakti is stated in shrimad bhagavatam 11.20.29:30:35 proktena bhakti yogena bhajato maskaran muni kama hridaya nashyanti 
सर्वमयी हृदय स्थिति विदेति हृदय ग्रंथिश छिंदेन्ति सर्व संशया शिनेन्ति चस्य कर्मानी मय दृष्टि अखिलात्मनी निरपेक्षयम परम प्राहु निश्चयसम अनलपकम तस्मा निरा आशीषो भक्ति निरपेक्षया मे भवेत इन दिस वे आई कम एंड सिट इन द हार्ट ऑफ अ साधक हु इनसेंसली परफॉर्म भजन ऑफ मी बाय फॉलोइंग भक्ति योगा एज आई हैव इंस्ट्रक्टेड After I sat myself there all the material desires in his heart are destroyed along with his samskaras past impressions at that time the knot in his heart is broken all of his doubts are cut to pieces and the desire to perform karma is completely destroyed such a state of indifference is the living entity's greatest and topmost auspiciousness the conclusion is that by making any other endeavors to eradicate the disease of lust kama and the ignorance avidya situated in the heart is pointless by adopting bhakti yoga in the form of cultivating service to bhagwan the jeeva's ignorance avidya inauspiciousness kal lust kama and the results of karma all his doubts and material bondage are eradicated by the mercy of bhagwan but this does not happen through gyan yoga or karma yoga shuddha bhakti therefore arises in the heart when one renounces all types of desires and hopes and becomes totally free from any expectations nirpeksha bhajan kriya devotional practice is of two types resolute nishtita and wavering anishtita it is improper to become discouraged by thinking we do not possess the capacity to destroy the results of karma it is necessary for the faith of the sadhaka to be invested with enthusiasm from the very beginning of his practice of bhakti there are two types of bhajan kriya nishtita resolute and anishtita wavering when nishta arises while performing bhajan with faith shraddha in the association of sadhus then that bhajan kriya is called nishtita As long as nishtita bhajan kriya has not arisen anishtita bhajan kriya the unsteady practice of bhajan prevails there are six stages evident in anishta bhajan kriya one utsahmay initial enthusiasm two ghan tarala thick thin a waving resolve to perform devotional practice three vyur vikalpa oscillating between resolve and doubt four vishay sangara battling sense pleasure five niyam akshama the inability to uphold vows favorable for one's devotional service and six tarang rangani sporting in the waves of the conveniences afforded by the practice of bhakti the offense of inattentiveness Hari Bhakti Vilas considered Pramad to be a type of Nama Prad. In the same scripture, the word Pramad is defined as inattentiveness. In Shri Hari Nam Chintamani, this inattentiveness has been divided into three categories: one, indifference, udasinta; two, inertness, jadata; and three, distraction, vikshepa. one cannot perform hari bhajan at all until one is free of these three types of inattentiveness although all other types of apradas may have been eliminated a taste for hari naam will never arise as long as inattentiveness remains present if from the very beginning of bhajan one possesses an enthusiasm that never slackens then indifference laziness and distraction will never arise in one's practice of naam bhajan utsah or enthusiasm is therefore helpful in the performance of all types of bhajan nishta gradually arises only through the enthusiastic performance of bhajan kriya when one's performance of bhajan kriya is full of enthusiasm then one's irresolute disposition anishtita is removed and the stage of nishta is quickly achieved Shilarup Goswami has mentioned Ado shraddha tatha sadhu sang atha bhajan kriya tato anarth nivritti hi syad 
तथो निष्ठा रुचि तथा भक्तिर सामिल सिंधु 1.4.15 दिस मींस दैट द एलिजिबिलिटी टू परफॉर्म भजन अराइजेस अपॉन द अवेकनिंग ऑफ फेथ श्रद्धा अपॉन द अराउजल ऑफ दिस एलिजिबिलिटी वन ऑब्टेन्स द एसोसिएशन ऑफ सेंटली पर्सन्स साधु संग by which one begins to execute the activities of bhajan bhajan kriya in the beginning bhajan is not performed with nishtha because various types of unwanted desires in the heart that impede one's progress in bhakti anarthas continuously crush the heart but performing bhajan with enthusiasm vanquishes all anarthas enthusiasm is the very life of shraddha The word shraddha certainly means faith but utsaha is the very life of shraddha faith without enthusiasm is meaningless many people think they have faith in the supreme lord but because they do not possess enthusiasm their faith is impotent for this reason due to lack of sadhu sangha they are unable to perform bhajan